Hello and welcome aboard Clementine. I'm Dustin and I'm going to be your host while you're here. This video is going to give you an opportunity to know your way around the boat, learn how to check in and check out, as well as answer a few questions you might have as you stay aboard the sailboat. Keep in mind that staying aboard a boat is different than at home. As you drive down Christopher Columbus Causeway, look to your left. You should see Clementine right at the end of the pier, right at there. You'll pass the sign for the Reef Point Marina, and you want to be looking for the very first parking lot on your left. There it is. Go ahead and grab a parking space right around here. You're going to park in that parking lot, and you can see from this picture where the boat is located. Here's an angle from the boat looking back towards the road, and you'll see the entrance to the docks right there. That's the West Dock entrance gate. This main building here is the office and the restaurant. The blue fence has the pool behind it. And then over here to the far left is that covered area with the brown roof. That's the entrance to the West Docks. We're going to go make our way from the parking lot over to the main building. It's really important that the office is your first stop in the check-in process. As you walk up to the building, you'll see the Anchors Away ship store on your left. This is also where the office is. And on your right is the Reef Point Brew House. Head into the office and let the staff know you're here to stay aboard the Airbnb sailboat called Clementine. They're going to hand you a bag that looks like this. Inside you'll find the keys that you need to get onto the docks and into the boat. With the keys in hand, you're going to head this way and hang a left towards the pool. You're going to walk past the ice machines past the pool on your left, straight ahead to the entrance of the West Docks, which you'll see right here. Use the blue key fob located on the keychain to place right here on this little reader, and then that will let you into the gate. Here is where all of the carts are kept. Feel free to use one of those to grab all your gear from your car. Just make sure you return it here immediately after using. Please do not store these at the boat. As you walk on the main pier, you're going to take a left onto W1, the very first pier on your left. And this is going to lead you down to Clementine. Make your way all the way to the end of the dock. You'll find Clementine resting here, the last slip waiting for you to get on board. Feel free to store your shoes in the step on the dock. As you step onto the boat, make sure you grab onto something. The boat will shift and lean as you step on board. Feel free to grab anything, the railing, the handles here, the bimini top. Just make sure you've got a hand on something solid as you step aboard. And you want to watch your step as you come around into the boat. Feel free to walk around on the bow of the boat or just about anywhere on the boat. Just watch your toes so you don't stub them on all the different gear. Use your key to unlock the padlock on the main cabin door. We like to place this lock right here on the bimini so we don't drop it in the water accidentally, which we've done. To open the cabin, you're just going to flip the latch down, open the doors, and then slide the hatch open. We do ask that you close the hatch every time you leave the boat. If you're going to have dinner or go to the pool or go for a walk, that way if it starts to rain, you can make sure that your bed isn't going to get wet from the rain. Now it's time to step into the boat and have a look around. Hopefully you don't have a lot of rain when you're here, but there are umbrellas located right here if you need them. On top of the fridge, there's important information, rules about the boat, the marina, also restaurant guides, a little bit of information about getting around, and a menu for the Reef Point Brew House. There's a fire extinguisher and a first aid kit above the fridge. There's also a fire extinguisher in the locker and the cockpit labeled with the fire extinguisher symbol. While we're on the subject of safety, the boat is equipped with several alarms, a carbon monoxide alarm, two smoke detectors, and a high water alarm. If at any point you hear an alarm going off on the boat, please immediately exit the boat onto the dock and call us. Your safety is our top priority. 
You'll find cubbies to store your stuff underneath the bed in the main cabin, located right here. In the top drawer, you'll find silverware. In the next drawer, you're going to find everything you need for making coffee. Next drawer has extra trash bags and extra hand towels. And then odds and ends in the final drawer. You're going to find the trash can underneath the sink in the cabinet. In the kitchen, we have a Keurig for making coffee, a tea kettle, cups, bowls, extra hand towels, wine glasses, cups, and behind the paper towels, there's dish soap in case you need to wash some dishes while you're here for this day. There's also a drying rack for that. The air conditioner and the remote are located right here to keep you cool while on board. Right behind the air conditioning unit are some cushions for the cockpit. Feel free to set these up in the cockpit area if you're gonna be enjoying a sunset or any other time out there. It is possible to dislodge the exhaust hose from the air conditioning unit while grabbing the cushions. If this happens, make sure to reattach that hose. We love to use the cheese board that you'll find on the bed to place in the cockpit to give us extra surface space for food or drinks if we're enjoying that area. Although it's really tempting, please do not use the radio. Coast Guard regulations carry heavy fines for improper use. If it gets chilly on board, you want to use the heater located right beside the radio. There's a fan speed switch and also a thermostat switch to decide how much heat you need. Light switches are located here in the main cabin. One turns on the main cabin lights, right there, and the other one turns on the V-berth lights. As you go forward in the boat, you'll find lights for the bathroom here, and the other switch is the light for the V-berth, which is the forwardmost part of the cabin here. A few of the amenities you'll find in the bathroom include a shower caddy, some disposable earplugs, and disposable masks if you have light sensitivity. In order to open the hatch in the bathroom, you'll unscrew this little set screw, lift up the hatch, tighten the screw down, and it'll stay open. Make sure you close this if you leave the boat in case it rains. Here are the important things about using the toilet on the boat. First of all, do not throw anything in the toilet except for toilet paper and what might come out of your body naturally. Everything else goes into the trash can right beside the toilet. The next thing is that this toilet flushes using a macerating pump. So you're going to hold the button down for about three seconds for a number one and a little bit longer for a number two. We do suggest using the toilets in the really nice bathhouses and using this toilet more as an emergency situation. Although... You do want to use it. Don't be afraid to. It's just that it pumps into a tank and that holding tank is only so big. So once again, place the butt, your finger on the black button and hold it down for one to three seconds for a number one and a little bit longer for a number two. The shower and bathroom facilities are located right here. This is the back side of the main building. And the second one is located a quick walk down the pier right here. Each one is within 100 yards of the boat. They're both kept very clean. Although we hate to see you go, checkout time is 11 in the morning. Please use the lock to lock up the doors again, and then you're going to take the keys, place them into the bag, and take them back to the office and give them to the staff there. Please send us a text message to let us know you're safely on your way. We hope you have a wonderful stay aboard Clementine. Please don't hesitate to give us a call if you need anything.